Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. Today we're talking about horsepower. Uh, no. Yes, yes. We're talking about not blowing head gaskets. Not blowing head gaskets. It's a big problem in the turbocharged world, and especially in the Cummins world. And there's a couple different options that we get a lot of questions about. So we want to do a video to answer questions. O-rings versus fire rings. What are the differences and why would you do one versus another? So first off, most of you are like, what is the difference between, what is an O-ring? An O-ring, as you can see right here, is a little piece of stainless steel wire that gets cut a groove in the head or the block. Generally it's done in the head because it's easy to go groove ahead. It's yeah. not easy to groove a block nope. because you have to pull it out. A little groove is cut and a 41,000 stainless steel wire is pressed in. And that wire is left so it can stick out about 10 to 15 thousandths depending on your spec and, and how you do it. That little stainless wire pushes down on the metal ring built into the factory head gasket right here and that gives it an extra little pinch point to kind of help seal. That's what an O-ring is. It's very common in gas performance, diesel, motorcycles, anything it's been around for a long time. Kind of like old school, you know? Yeah, it actually works really, really well. Um, so O-ring is very popular and it's pop popular for a long time, but it's not quite enough for big, big power. But before we get away from O-ring all the way, it is okay even in a stock application. There's no drawback. Oh, yeah. You don't need a special fastener for it. It's such a small, wire pressed in there that there's enough clamp load with factory head bolts, head studs, anything. It's just fine. So that's one of the advantages of that. Now let's go over to, uh, well, for horsepower. So stock all the way up to, what would you say, maybe 700? Yeah, you're I'd say 750 is a happy top. I mean, if you got a good set of head studs and an O-ring, you could probably go beyond that. You'd probably go beyond that, but you're at least 750 horse on a Cummins, which puts you, you know, well over a thousand foot pounds of torque. Oh, well, well, well over a thousand. <laughs> Maybe 14, 1500 <laughs> yeah. to the tire. That's where you, you generally start having trouble with O-rings. The problem is you get enough power, the head lifts a little bit. And since there's so little crush left after that O-ring, it's only got to lift a little bit and the fire goes past it. It doesn't necessarily torch the gasket, mm -hmm. it goes past it, cuts all of this composite material and you start leaking coolant. Yeah. So when you're going to generally 750 horse and above. A firing is, pre is preferred. So firing is another way to attack, to skin this cat. So in this one, we actually cut out the firing of the stock gasket. This is called a firing. This little metal ring around the cylinder here is a firing. And we cut it out completely. And it's replaced with a piece of steel wire. And this is called a firing. And in this one, you don't cut a little groove. You actually, you, well, you cut a groove, but it's, it's, it's radius, so this, this receiver groove fits this ring perfectly. It's not square in here, it's actually rounded. And it makes it, let me get this. So it's really nice and smooth. This has a lot more protrusion than uh, an O-ring does. I mean, a lot more. And these ones you actually have to crush. You wouldn't want to like just put this in, start it and go ripping. On a fire ring, you actually need to do some hot retorks. There are some instructions that say not to, but that's stupid. Every time I've done that and not done a retorque, I've blown a head gasket. Yeah, I don't know why. Like even thinking. at even at like 800 horsepower, like yeah. you need to do a retorque. You also need good hardware. If you try to do it with factory head bolts, it's not going to crush it. There's a couple shops down in like the southeast that do that, but they CNC machine the block and the head perfect, so they're perfectly flat and mm -hmm. true, and they can get away with it. But most guys, their head and block are not perfectly flat and true. You need a good head stud to do it. Even the cheap ARPs are kind of questionable. I would say Torque Master, ARP 625, the Opti Torque, yeah, the Opti Torque Torque Master. Torque Master or uh, ARP 625 really is what you should have if you're having 14 a 14 millimeter, anything. Anything 14 mil is fine. But yeah. if you're in 12 millimeter hardware, you really should be there. Now, I have ran firings with the cheap ARPs, over torqued and they're right on the verge of breaking because they're right at the yield point, but that's not correct. It's, yeah, that's a, So the guys that are gonna come out and say, well, I've done this for years. You, you just gotten lucky. Yeah. Crank that timing up to 50 degrees and tell me how, the, how those <laughs> yeah. little air pieces hang there. <laughs> yeah. so, Well, I don't run that much timing. I'd be like, well, it's because you don't like horsepower. <laughs> timing is, is a marvelous thing. So the firing head gasket literally is a stock head gasket that's just cut out. Like I was saying, we cut the firing, put this in place, and this will crush. There's a couple different ways. You can cut the ring in the head. You can cut the ring in the block. If you're making a lot of power, we like to do half and half and both and split that. And um, it works really well. If you do like one or the other, like, you know, all in the head and none in the block, if, when you pull this off, you'll see this has a flat. I mean, it crushes this thing. This thing crushes a lot. So half of its radius where it's in the groove, half of its flat where it was against on there. the block. Horsepower level, we generally say 
Well, 715 above, right? 750 is, above. When you get about 1500, we pretty much, you need to split the firing yes, half and half. Yes. You get over 1500, it lifts the head enough from power. I mean, maybe with 14 mil hardware, you can get away with it a little bit, but yeah. generally, um, I mean, we tried that at UCC, remember, at, oh. at 2000 horsepower yeah. with really good hardware because that's all we had. And it's still, with, without a receiver groove, we blew the head gasket on one sled pull at yeah. 2000 horsepower. Yeah. So if you're making a purpose-built competition motor, go ahead and take the time and put the groove in the head and the block both, and you'll be, you'll be glad you did. So anyway- Let's talk numbers a little bit about firing versus O-ring. So okay. I said a, a O-ring is 41 thousandths and it sticks out, you know, 10 to 15. A firing is 105 thousandths wide. So it's much wider than that, but it's not pushing on a factory firing. It is a it ring is itself. It is the firing. The grooves cut about 120 thousandths wide. And generally your protrusion, normally the grooves cut about 40 thousandths deep if it's all in one or the other, if it's split. So that means there's a lot of ring, but that's also got to take up the, the space of, the, of gasket. the gasket and everything. Which so so you get, there is more crushing happening. In the past, it was thought of that fire rings were not as reliable because after 20,000 street miles, they would crack from heat cycles. That was back when they were already doing square grooves. When they're doing square not grooves. radius grooves. Yep. The radius crew has fixed that. Now, one other last little thing to talk about on these. The first time I blew a head gasket on my Junker drag truck, I immediately O-ringed the block and there was this tool you could do the block really crudely in frame. And that's what I did. And it, uh, it held for a while, but I was only making like five or 600 horsepower. So it seems like, I don't want to say cheaper guys, but guys that are trying to avoid, because you got to realize this gasket is what several hundred dollars they've come down but when we when i started in this yeah they were they were very expensive where yeah. where o-rings you can just use a factory gasket and that's a big advantage of the whole ring if you do blow a head gasket you can go down to any auto parts store or call us and these are readily available it's a stock gasket these ones have to be made and sometimes we're out of stock so, so you can have a you know 80 dollar gasket versus a multi hundred multi hundred dollar gasket and this one you can get anywhere in the world this one you got to go to a specialty shop to get and then the, uh, the O-rings, you just reuse them if you blow it. Generally, those don't get hurt, so you don't need to change the O-ring work. Mm -hmm. um, where the these fire ones are rings, not reusable. If you blow a head gasket, take these out, throw them away, get a new, get a new set of rings, get a new set and a new gasket. And so this and is definitely- And you need the good studs too, we decided. Says, this is definitely a higher cost option, but it also holds a lot more power. So then let's talk about model years. So, so 89 to 2002, those all had a composite gasket yep. like that. Yep. Those are commonly O-ringed or there's or firing. a firing option, even the 4BT guys. Yep. Once you get to 2003, in the MLS multi-layer steel gaskets, things change. Not very many people O-ring this because the firing is different here. This is, you know, you have the different layers of steel. And this, with a good set of studs, can, I mean, these have been reliable to 1,000 horsepower. Just yes, so generally O-ring is not done with a 2003 newer with a multi-layer steel gasket or MLS because one, it doesn't work as well because there's not like just a ring, it's the gasket. And then two, they just, they don't really need it until you're at the power level where you need a fire ring anyway. Yep. So it's not common. I'm not saying that there aren't shops that do that and I'm not saying they're not doing it wrong. That's yeah. their own thing. We personally never done it do not O-ring MLS. We my, go- My truck, my street truck, you know, my mega cab is firing. It's a firing MLS gasket, and you know, that's making well north of 2,000 foot pounds of torque, 1,400 horsepower at the all truck challenge, and it's just it's just taking like a champ with firings, the firings, and good hardware. It's got awesome hardware. You gotta have the good hardware in yep. there. But but that's kind of the main difference. So you're kind of more budget conscious. But is there any reason not to O-ring your head if you're putting a brand new head on, especially a ported one? I think if you're getting a brand new head, especially ported head you need to do at minimum an O-ring. You know, I think it's a good thing. It's crazy to me to spend the money on a ported head to limit your power capacity on your head gasket. For one, you're gonna be in there real fast again, ripping it out to fix it. You're gonna O-ring it sooner or later. So on, our, on ported heads, O-ring or firing, for sure I would, I would not put it on my truck without an O-ring or firing. Um, even if you can't afford head studs, even with head bolts, it's still- Yeah, if uh, I was buying a head and I had to put it back on, okay, I'll say later I'll get head studs, but I'll put it back on. I still, the O-ring is so hard to do. Yeah. I mean, pulling a head off and on is a big chore. I mean, Swapping especially, head especially tool and equipment, we have to do that too. It's not like average Joe at home normally is just going to go, or your even local machine shop. A lot of them are like, what's an O-ring? Don't even know. So, yeah. 
So if you're ordering a head that's ported, minimum O-ring or a firing, depending on how you know aggressive you want to go. And um, yeah, even on, even on stock heads, if I was putting a new head on anything ever, I would never put it on without O-rings or firings because I just know the potential's there and I know what I'm going to do is eventually it's going to make more power and I'm going to be back in there pulling the head off. So I don't think I'd ever personally build an engine for myself that didn't have O-rings or firings just because I know so, power uh, So we could play the game of intelligence. So my Junker drag truck, I think I blew seven or eight gaskets, started with a stock one and then O-ring and then I tried various different brands of studs and torquing techniques and I was keeping the timing conservative. I couldn't even run the big power timing. And before I finally wised up and I'm like, all right, I'm gonna buy the firing setup and do it. Yeah. You, the first head gasket you blew, did you go right to O-rings or what'd you do? I've, I've never had an O-ringed uh, vehicle <laughs> in my life. Not that I wouldn't, I just knew firings are better. And so that's, I'm like, well, give me the ring I get my big power out of. I was, I was willing to do it, you know? And so that was me. But I've driven many of these and they, and they hold great. Like we've done a lot of here in the shop and, and there's nothing wrong with this. I mean, you've been very fast, made a lot of power on O-ring head. A lot of guys have. It's not the wrong option. In fact, my 9812 valve that's right at its 700. To this day. To this day that you drove today. Because yeah. it was stormy, so we decided to drive the, the nice painted truck today. That's right. It's O-ring. So you have driven an O-ring yeah. vehicle as a daily driver, according we, to today. We towed to Denver heavy. I mean, it's been great. We've got a lot of miles. Dang near 400,000 miles. So it's not, it's not the wrong option. You need to know this is not the wrong option. Most likely it's the right option, unless you're making big, big power, at which point... This is the right option. Firings where you need to be. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, this is just a lot easier in your life. Should you blow a gasket, fixing this can be done at any shop anywhere in the country. Really easy. Where this is probably going to be done at a specialty shop or someone like us that can handle this kind of job. So anyway, guys, that sh should hopefully inform you on the difference between an O-ring and a firing and why you would want one or the other. And um, yeah, if you like this kind of content, please give us a subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Get this video out. And uh, we'll see you next time. On the parts bin. Oh, on the parts bin. <laughs> Are we, is this the parts bin? I don't know. <laughs>